Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Andrew. I uh, work for Core Education, so education consultancy. I spend a lot of time in schools and in libraries and talking to schools about what is the library in 2015 going to look like? How are we going to integrate that? How does it fit into the landscape? How does it fit in with a mindset, a new mindset? And so a lot of the, a lot of the work I do is ar are around those conversations. And so what I want to talk to you about today uh, in the session that I'll be leading is the filter bubble and critical thinking. There are two opposing forces happening right now. One is that our news feed is, is being diluted with sugar, okay? The more, we, there's, there's not, the, the investigative journalism, the ability for our kids, our students, even ourselves to think deeply about important issues, uh, to spend long, longer times with information apart from just doing a crop duster effect across a variety of, of, of stimulus. We, we've mistaken um, stimulus for information. And so this, is, this session is really about trying to drill into that. And what does critical thinking actually look like in the classroom, in school environments, in libraries? So we've got that kind of saccharine, very much a um, surface level uh, junk food aisle, if you will, that's happening in, our, in our, uh, our news feeds and the way we consume media and news. So that's one force. The other side of it, that journalism has become a very dangerous game. In the last 10 years, uh, 720 journalists have been killed Many, many more have been pers persecuted, have been kidnapped, have been subjected to all, all kinds of terror by different governments from around the world. Now in New Zealand, we're very fortunate that we, have, um, that we have the ability to have these conversations openly and we're able to talk to each other, we're, we're able to hold events like today. And so I guess a message to our kids needs to be, dictators don't like freedom, so let's use ours. And, that's, and this is very much what, what, what this is all about. And so it's really conversations about how we set up an environment, whether it's in a library or across a school setting, where we have balance, where we have nuance, where we have a little bit more of a um, respect for how the information that we put up online is going to affect the people that are reading it. So whether or not that's just cyber safety of how we treat others, the way our words can travel like wildfire if we say the wrong thing, and the internet will remember even if we forget. It's also about where do we point our children to when we need to go deeper and we need to curate and, and help streamline the information that's, that's before us. So I'm looking forward to those conversations. When you come to the, to the session that I'm leading, can you please bring your mobile phone? We are going to be doing a short little survey uh, that I'll be sharing with you at reflection time. Thanks. Thanks.